<coughs> and uh, have a look uh, into the landing symmetry. So the landing symmetry, uh, it's about weight, first of all. So our horse, we together, horse itself, and our body is pushing to the earth, is gravity. And the level of gravity is changed because horse is moving. Measured again, the same effort is G, uh, like an impulsion, talk, but impulsion measured up and the uh, landing measured down. So that's why the same um, metric is G force. <clears throat> and this tells us about primary, about the balance. Balance of the horse and balance of the rider. And horse ability to move those both horse body and rider's body equally. On the exercises you ask horse to perform. On the straight lines, it's more or less easy. But if you're doing voltage, circles, other more exercises, higher ex exercises, this became a higher challenge for horse to keep this symmetrical. And the difference in those charts telling us about how horse able to manage the balance on those exercises and those training sessions. So charts organized a little bit different, but you are familiar with those charts. <coughs> Let us discuss how we should read those charts. Principle is the same. So the higher peak, the more consistent is the diagonal, which is great. So we can see in terms of the weight distribution, the balancing the uh, weight, uh, left diagonal on the October 10 was more consistent, a little bit more consistent than the green. Still, it's not meaningful difference. It's just 1%, 1%. But we see this. So in this day, a rider and uh, the horse was more consistently keeping the same level of uh, the weight on the left diagonal, while on the right diagonal, it was a little bit less consistent. It's not disaster, it's not a big problem, but it's definitely different. And this level of consistency on the right means for rider and for horse, moving the right part of diagonal, which is right, left, and hind left, oh, sorry, <laughs> front, right, and left hind legs, move this part of the body on the throat is a little bit less comfortable than move left front leg. And this is, it should be feelable by the rider. A rider should notice this, but now we have measurements showing this and you can see how it's changing over time. Let us discuss a little bit what else we can see here. Here is also important to mention, despite it just a 1%, but principle stays the same. So this zone of difference is the time and the moment of time when horse is keeping more weight on the left diagonal versus right diagonal. So it's kind of maybe due to the rider primary, it's sitting a little bit more on the left diagonal when it's moving compared to the right one. And a lot of conclusions could be done here if we know what happened on the training session and how it was organized and how rider was rising during the rising throat because all of those changing the weight and changing the effort horse and uh, rider's body implementing into the uh, legs. So that's why <clears throat> knowing what you did, very helpful to understand these charts. But what you can see here, it is a little bit different, not meaningful difference, but it's just three minutes ride, remember? So this was a very short ride. And for the short ride, having this picture saying, hmm, even for those three minutes of ride, horse wasn't able to move equally. This saying that horse is not still in a perfect shape because it's very small period of time, very uh, small number of steps done. And we still, it should be equal. So if horse well uh, fitness in a well shape, then you record very short session of the training, you will see very equal charts. If not, that means there is a challenge with the horse ability to move even within short time frame, because it was just one exercise. Uh, and here it was just a working working throat, nothing else. A little bit turns on the corners and that's it. 
Okay, let's compare it what happened later in two weeks of horse development. We notice, wow, horse was working on, and now we see meaningful difference. We see bigger difference. It's still not dramatic, but it's meaningful different in the consistency. So here we see that on this training session, which again, remember, three times longer than the previous one, so it was more exercises during this training session. And now we see, remember it was different in terms of the rhythm, but also <clears throat> we see that landing uh, consistently better on the, uh, more consistent on the left diagonal, while on the right diagonal, it everywhere. So it's not consistent. So horse not able to manage her body, his body and the rider body consistently on those exercises which was done on this training session. Remember, it wasn't long enough, it's 12 minutes of trot, that's it. It's still not big enough, but horse not able to manage the weight. So it's needed, it's required more time to develop more exercises to shape the balance and to keep the balance and to manage the balance. And that's why uh, this happened here. So consistency give us uh, this knowledge. And also we can see that there is a 4% difference now. So on the right diagonal, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes it's big enough difference for the healthy horse. So means rider give some exercise to the horse and horse wasn't able to perform those exercises balanced and the rider wasn't ready. So both of them maybe wasn't ready enough to perform consistently and manage the balance equally. So that's why uh, we learn from this day that need to be done more exercises on the balance, training horse to keep this balance, doing the same exercises. It's not time to move forward, to add new exercises, more challenging exercises. Better to keep steady on the same practicing and uh, learn and train horse to do this. Once shape became more equal, then it's time to add something else on the trot. And let us look on the third day, uh, not the third, but third, uh, not day, but after two weeks. Now we see, again, first of all, we remember it was, again, much longer trot and a lot of exercises done. And also we see almost equally consistency, which is great. And a little bit, just 2% difference in the weight. It was some some elements. So it looks like on this training session, majority of training session was very well performed. The horse was able to perform all exercises except just new ones. So it was introduction of new something. Maybe it was collection. Maybe it was smaller bolts, maybe something else on the trot. And those elements during the training session wasn't well developed for the horse. But majority of duration of the trot part of the training was good enough and was very well consistent and well developed. So we can see how it evolved over time. And based on that, we may say increasing the time of trot and also changing the elements, I mean, exercises during the trot, we see how it's changing on the charts. And we also may say now, like October 26, horse is mainly ready with the trot exercises it's done during the training, but there are some new elements which better to continue to practicing and maybe wait until perfect shape you will see if you want the perfect shape, if it's the goal, but it's not. The goal is to move forward. And we remember that this day horse was well trained in terms of the impulsion and we, we seen a good impulsion, so horse capable to do more. So I think this is the right time to introduce something else and a little bit help horse to develop your uh, moving part, part partners, uh, parties uh, forward, uh, adding new elements and new exercises. And I think it was done uh, with, a, with a trainer, with the owner. But let us uh, look on the third parameter to make this conclusion to be sure it is right.